Well, it's a big day for little Bohemia today. We've decided to give her a beauty spa, didn't we? A day at the spa, in fact, two days at the spa. Maybe even three days because she's filthy. <laughs> That's we've just got, what it takes. We've got Ruben and Jorge uh, from the maintenance team here in the marina, and they're gonna wash Bohemia, they're gonna bath her, and they're gonna wax her as well. I'm feeling very lazy today. All we've done this morning is clear the decks and I'm already exhausted. Of course, there's nothing better than watching people work, but I feel very guilty that it's not Pedro over there. I don't do buffing and waxing. <laughs> no, definitely not. You know, we try to do as much work as possible ourselves, but uh, things are so cheap here that we would be stupid not to let the professionals do it. I mean, they do it day in, day out, uh, and really, we would like to have Bohemia polished and waxed every year. We haven't done it now for two years, so uh, yeah, it's time to splash out a bit. The last time it had a good clean like this was in the boatyard in California, actually. Of course, the first mate likes to tell you he does all the cleaning and boat work himself, but this is how it really happens now. The reality. <laughs> We're not gonna go super abrasive. We're gonna be using a cleaner wax only. So uh, I'm not too worried about the gel coat that they're gonna take too much off uh, because this is pretty gentle stuff. Wow, the boat is so white. I don't think she was this white since we bought her about five years ago. They're doing a fantastic job. I buffed and polished before, but no way I managed to get this quality. Suppose, you know, when you do it day in, day out, they know what they're doing. It's like me doing Peter's Pieces chocolate balls. I also know what I'm doing. Stick to what you know. And we have had a special delivery today. Captain's gone crazy. Look at this. Look like it's the captain's birthday today. Yeah, this is great. It survived the journey all the way from Medellin. And uh, this is gonna be 200 watts of extra solar power for our Bimini. We're gonna replace the old uh, flexible panels on top and hopefully get a lot more usable power now. Of course he meant the Dodger, not the Bimini, because we have four flexible on the Bimini. Oh, you're totally right. I did mean the Dodger. Thank you for that. It's a good job the first mate's here to control the work. Otherwise anything could have happened. Looks a bit big now it's here, but I did measure up. I'm sure it'll be fine. While the boys are busy buffing the hull, our captain thought he'd better look busy as well. First mate's nipped out to the shops, so I'm getting on with some maintenance. Today I'm fitting the new solar panel on the Dodger, uh, which is super exciting. Uh, it should be a fairly easy job, but as always, the devil's in the details, and there are a few details to this in store. Uh, I gotta get the old ones off and then we're using this aluminium extrusion uh, to bridge the gap between the bars on the Dodger um, and I'm gonna make a platform out of this uh, aluminium extrusion so the solar panel can just rest flat on it like this. Now the only tricky bit is this, I gotta create some shims out of plastic. Uh, this is starboard so it should last forever even in the sun and it's just gotta make these level. Uh, so the solar panel can sit level and take away the curve of the dodger uh, that it's going to sit on. Uh, to fit the panel to these uh, aluminium extrusions, uh, because the panel frame is aluminium as well, um, I'm just going to rivet it to these, so that should be super easy. And then to fit these uh, poles, the extrusions, onto the dodger, I'm going to drill through and bolt it uh, through the uh, stainless steel which is inside there and use some Duralac or compound uh, to stop the stainless bolts from corroding against the aluminium. I can't wait to have the extra power though. Uh, these panels have done as well, but they're four years old now and they're flexible panels, so uh, they're getting really cloudy. Uh, they're 150 watts in total, 50 watts each, and we're getting about 70 watts out of them at the moment, so about half of their rated power. So definitely time for an upgrade. Well, the waxing's all done, and I gotta say, this is the best that Bohemia has ever looked in the whole time that we've owned her. 
even when we bought her, she wasn't buffed up like this. So it's just amazing. I'm getting used to having a new boat. I'm gonna have to be wearing my sunglasses every time I go out on deck now. Uh, the other thing that's happened is the solar panel's now on. Uh, I haven't plugged it in yet, but I'm really confident they sent us a working one. And I really hope so now I think about it because I've been drilling into that thing like there's no tomorrow. It's kind of a bit warranty voiding what I did this afternoon. So really hoping that works. Uh, but really happy with the mounting. It's super sturdy and it's gonna bring in a lot more power for the first mate's margarita machine. And here we have the dream team. Uh, Ruben and Jorge, anyone coming to Cartagena and needs their boat buffing, they are the best. Hello. The little waves coming into this marina is probably the worst we've ever had it. Uh, Cartagena has a bit of a reputation for not being the best harbour, uh, let's say, in terms of calm anchorages. And there's so many boats going around, so many tour boats uh, just creating so much chop and wake inside the harbour. And there's crazy people just planing past, only feet away from our slip. And of course that just sends us rocking about like crazy. Uh, so I'm adjusting the lines and making sure our new wax job stays pristine. No such thing as no wake in this country, unfortunately. <laughs> it's all hands on deck this morning. Captain's just got back from his run. Uh, the last time he'll have an opportunity to do that in a while. And the first mate's been cooking up a storm in the galley. Freshly baked bread. Freshly delivered from the local supermercado. I'm not stupid. I'm not baking bread in the city, am I? But today is a departure day, big day. Uh, it's really hands on deck in every part of the boat. Uh, we actually have two crew members joining us today, Mike and Matt. Uh, they're gonna be sailing with us to Panama to the Sun Blas Islands. Yes, you've heard correctly, we are going back to Panama. Uh, we've decided that uh, this year we want to take it slightly easier and we feel that we have not really did the Sun Blas Island justice. Uh, we were there only for about three weeks and uh, it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. So we just have to go back, you know, and the rest of the Caribbean will have to wait for next year. So for now, I'm cooking like crazy. We have provisioned so much, you wouldn't believe it. We have so much food and booze for the next month. And I'm really, really looking forward to get back to the islands and uh, start swimming and enjoying the sea. We've been here about for five weeks and we've achieved everything we wanted to. The upholstery, the solar panels, all of that is done. So it's time to depart. Yeah, it's been a whirlwind tour of Colombia. We really enjoyed it. Uh, we've got to go back, I think probably by land one day, uh, but we got a real taste for the country. And uh, how wonderful it is. So this will be the first time ever that we've had a crew with us for a passage. And this is quite a significant passage, about 200 miles. So really looking forward to having the company on my night watches. First mate, as you know, likes to go down below and catch up on his beauty sleep. So <laughs> at least the captain will have someone to talk to. Uh, no, it'll be really fun. Mike and Matt are great guys. You'll meet them later, of course. Uh, a Kiwi and an Aussie. We're aiming for a 10 a.m. departure. Uh, there's no wind at the moment, but it picks up about midday. So that should give us plenty of time to back gracefully out of the slip with an audience this time uh, and just hop around the corner out onto the sea, uh, ready for the wind. Uh, today's passage is just gonna be a short hop uh, down to the islands, uh, which we're gonna use as our jumping off point in the early hours of tomorrow morning, all being well. And then we have about 180 miles straight shot across to San Blas. Plenty of wind in this passage, so uh, it should be a swift one. Uh, luckily downwind this time, so maybe a bit more civilized. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, it's been a really productive stay in the marina here. We've really taken advantage of the excellent local services and the excellent rates uh, that people are charging for boat work. Bohemia has never looked so good. She's bright and shiny. I think you need your sunglasses just to walk around on deck at the moment, it's so bright. And uh, yeah, looking like new, better than new in fact. Uh, we've got our new dinghy here, of course. Uh, the old one added a bit of character, I know, but it was time to upgrade. Uh, we had Pedro come back and do our jerry can covers, so those are looking fantastic. 
all coordinated for a change. And when we leave uh, these slightly dirty marina docks, we also had Pedro make some new fender covers. So we're gonna be all coordinated. First mate doesn't wanna use them yet though, because they might get dirty. So yeah, a new boat inside and out, especially with the new upholstery down below, feels very different. We're turning a corner in our cruising, I think. Finally, the first mate's got the cruising lifestyle he was dreaming of. <laughs> Just need to pay for it all now. So, all is ready for our crew. Really proud how I managed to sort out the V-berth and the lounge. But I don't think the captain is doing that well. Look at that, disaster station. The cockpit is a work in progress, I'll give you that. Still going here. The problem is the AC goes wedged right in the bottom corner of the lazarette, so everything has to come out. And I'm taking the opportunity to do a bit of spring cleaning at the same time. Still haven't had my shower yet. Desperately needed. Don't worry, we're ready in 10 minutes. Just shove it all in and get on with it. We have stocked up heavily here in Colombia on beers and wine because one can of beer is like 40 cents and a gorgeous bottle of rosé, $2. We'll be stupid not to, wouldn't we? Yeah, combined with two extra passengers and their luggage, all this booze and everything else, we're about the fullest that we've ever been. <laughs> we love crew members with suitcases. <laughs> Travelling light, guys. Two more, two more. <laughs> Don't be shy about using it. And uh, this one down here on the left. Sorry. The most important thing, always explain to the guest how the toilet works. I hope they're paying close attention. You never know, there might be a demonstration. We're doing the full briefing, the life raft, the toilet, the life jackets, all lot. You never know. So last time Matt was on a sailboat, there was dolphins swimming around and he actually jumped off to swim with them. <laughs> so please don't do that with us. We don't want to have an accidental man overboard. <laughs> if you do, make sure they're very friendly dolphins. Yeah, they'll, they'll see you to the shore. I'll right? ride alongside you on the back of the boat. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that actually. I may be encouraging him. Well, we nearly hit the neighbors. Wasn't the best departure, but hey. Babe, yeah. three out of ten. I know. Yeah, we should have had you on the back. Oh. I know that. <laughs> oh. Do you hear what he said? He said we should have me on the back. Look who was on the back. <laughs> yeah, tell him. <laughs> Seriously, you can't get the crew nowadays. <laughs> nah, I've had enough actually. Can we go back? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm quite enjoying having the crew under me. This is the fourth mate. Or third. Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm third, third. third. <laughs> He's the third mate. So What's we've got Admiral? we've got we've got three mates now. Three mates. Fourth mate. So yeah, that was a, that was a third mate, and here we have a deck swap. Second in charge. <laughs> <laughs> Second in charge of the decks, I think, yes. <laughs> you got to be careful how you say that with a Kiwi accent. <laughs> okay. 
That's what we're gonna be doing the entire 45 hours. We're gonna be watching. <laughs> I mean, cocktails first. And uh, marking the captain's capabilities. <laughs> so far, three out of 10. That was for the docking, right? The maneuvering in the marina, yeah, that got me three. I can redeem myself on the rest of the passage. He's being judged at every moment. And you can undo this one loose. You can undo that just one. And then unloose, slot, totally loose. Feed it out to me as I pull it. The whole thing until yeah. maybe the end. If it gets out here, yeah. then the That's it, you are done. <laughs> slide in. Oh my god. Just a little it's bit of magic. Magic. So keep it wrong. Oh, actually, Mike should do that. So get yourself <laughs> over there and you'll be right. pulling. Yeah, you, this is more exciting one, Mike. Yeah. Better than me getting all the shit jobs. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the fourth night. They get the fourth. Oh, I'm loving this. Just sitting here and filming while everything is being done. The muscles. <laughs> uh, faster would be good. Yeah, it's just two gears. Slow and faster. That's cool. Two gear, baby. Thing back up. Maybe we should buy a boat, baby. <laughs> we should buy a boat. There you go, they, they're buying a boat now. <laughs> Alright, you'll be able to hear us before you see us. <laughs> you're doing right! You're doing it wrong, Mike! It's left, not right! <laughs> Stop it! There you go, we're all done. So it's a lovely downwind sail all the way to Isla Grande. We're gonna stay overnight and then tomorrow we're doing the big one. Probably 40, 45 hours at sea. Uh, but it should be all downwind, so it should be very nice and pleasant. A third of the way up the sail. That way. Oh, yep, there's tiny little bits. Well said. Downwind is not horizontal. Yeah. That's I've got to say, when I learned how to sail, I never got the patience like this of the captain <laughs> or the training. It was pull the jib, do it, hurry up. He's really good with Matt. I only have a limited supply of that patience and you'd uh, used your credits up in the previous 13 years. Anyway, I'll leave them to it. I think uh, Mike and I, we're going to have a cocktail, aren't we? <laughs> that work is done. We, uh, our main job is to keep the spirits up. <laughs> yeah, in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's do it. Let's leave them to it. I don't know. With 300 unspoiled islands, flat seas, and dependable trade winds, Panama's San Blas Islands are a true paradise and the ideal tropical sailing destination. Now you can join us here for a week on board Bohemia as we show you the best cruising that the Caribbean has to offer. Learn the ropes of sailing, catch a fish for dinner, or take in the sunset while the first mate mixes the drinks. You decide. Check out our website for information, dates and availability. Late 2023 going into 2024. See you in paradise. We can't have our wine costing more than our diesel. Most of the time, the diesel tastes better. Special thanks in this episode go to our latest patrons, Steve and John from the UK, who sail their Moody 36 out of Gillingham. Champagne for everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much, and here's to you. If you've been enjoying our episodes and want to fuel the first mate's bad behavior in the Caribbean, then follow the link on screen to find out more. See you next time.